Hi guys, welcome to another Ants Canada video. In this video, I'm going to feed my ants a special treat that they've never had before, and that is crickets. Now this is the first time my colonies have had crickets, so it's kind of a special video. Now I know you guys love these feeding videos, so here we go, dropping in the cricket now. Now, as you can see, this red tropical fire ant colony discovers the cricket and word spreads pretty fast among the ants in the vicinity that there's a new food item there. And surprisingly, the first thing these ants do is they grab debris in the area and they try to bury it. You would think they would just swarm and start eating it, but no. The first course of action is to bury it. Check it out, guys! Oh man, it's still alive. I try to dispatch all food items that I feed to my ants by crushing the insects by the head, just to kind of speed up the process. Now if you look, you'll even see an ant carrying rocks. Look at them. These ants are so strong. These rocks have to be many times heavier than themselves. It would be like carrying a huge boulder. Such strong ants. They're really starting to bury this cricket now. Man, these ants are troopers! This cricket is really trying to fight back, but this doesn't stop the swarm. They're really efficient at what they do. Alright, so while these fire ants are dealing with this cricket, and I'll be feeding them more, I'm going to now move on to my next colony, which is a Parachikina longicornis colony, also known as Black Crazy Ants. So here are my Black Crazy Ants, and there goes the cricket. And the ants are fast moving, and so they instantly learn about this cricket here, and they let the rest of the colony know. Now these ants are kind of different in terms of how they process prey items, so I suspect they are going to take a different approach. And the tactic of these ants is they try to stretch the prey item. Now this is a huge insect to them. It's a huge prey item for them. So they are going to have some challenges here to consuming crickets. So here we go. I see ants now trying to grab the cricket by its appendages and they're trying to stretch the cricket. Wow, now this cricket is also putting up a fight for these ants. You must remember that this cricket is huge compared to these ants, and one cricket leg kick can send one of these ants flying, so this is kind of a very dangerous operation for the colony. But the ants know that this big cricket will offer the colony a very important source of protein, so they must seize it. Now throwing in a second cricket. Check them out, guys!
Right. And so while these black crazy ants are working on these crickets, let's go back to the red tropical fire ants and see how they're dealing with the cricket. Whoa, they've really buried that cricket. Now, you might be asking what those rounded sort of pipe looking things are. Those are actually the exoskeleton parts of past superworms that they've consumed. And so they're even grabbing their garbage. And that larger piece there in the middle is a piece of an abdomen of a past cockroach that they fed from. Now you might be asking, why are they burying this cricket? I have a couple guesses. One reason why I feel they would want to bury this cricket is because the cricket is actually kind of bleeding and insect blood has coagulants in it that make the guts and stuff really sticky. It's kind of got this like sort of glue consistency and it helps insects heal when there's a breach in the exoskeleton. So I'm assuming these ants are trying to bury this cricket just so that it's easier to work with, just to kind of give it a sort of lattice work so they can easily work around the cricket. The second reason is I feel like they would want to bury this new find and, you know, keep it from other animals and other insects that might come around and try to steal this large piece of food that the colony can make use of. Now, I often get asked why I often feed freshly killed feeder insects, and this is why. First, most ants don't have the chewing parts to be able to masticate, to chew up insects. So the easiest way for them to eat is to have their food in a sort of mash, in a sort of semi-liquid form. So when they freshly kill these insects, the ants are easily able to drink all of that. I have heard that some ants are willing to take dried mealworms, for example, but this is usually uncommon. I personally wish that most ants were okay with taking pre-dried or freeze-dried or pre-killed insects because I hate pre-killing insects and I hate watching them struggle even after I've squashed them. Here you can see some feeder cockroaches from the other day that they're still working on. And if you look there at the back, you'll see a container full of honey with some pinholes that I've placed in there so the ants can drink from it. Now this colony is doing so well. I am so pleased with the progress of this colony. You'll see them running back and forth between the outworld and their nest as they spread the news and spread the food. I love watching this entire feeding process. It's one of those ant keeper joys that you discover when you first have your ant colony. Now if you look here at these crazy ants consuming this cricket, you'll see that they are actually starting to feed now from the open wound in the head of this cricket. What they're doing is they're filling their social stomachs so that they can go back to the nest and feed the young, feed the queen, and other members in the nest. This way, not all of the colony needs to come out and feed. Actually, in the ant world, it's the oldest ants, the senior citizens of the colony, that do come out and feed and do all of this dangerous work in the field. Can you imagine feeding from this giant animal that's kind of moving and fighting back? It's really such a fascinating process that ants have been doing for millions of years. So back to the red tropical fire ants now. I've stuck in two extra crickets and they've already begun the process of burying them now. This is all taking place in Fire Ant Mountain. If you've seen our previous video, you know that I've created a nest for them in an AC outworld. And another great thing that's happening is the ants are starting to move in to Fire Ant Mountain, which is great. Check them out. It looks like they've decided it's a suitable home now. As for the nest of the black crazy ants, here they are. Their colony has also grown considerably, and I always wondered where the ants garbage pile was because I couldn't find the black crazy ants garbage pile, and surprisingly, it's in the nest. They keep it neatly packed in one of the rooms. I also see little tiny mites there, but my guess is that they're there for the garbage and not for the ants. The next morning, the red tropical fire ants have reduced all the crickets to just little pieces of body parts, and as they consume the body, it looks like they've removed some of the debris. And as for the black crazy ants, they're still feeding. I try to make sure that my colonies have an ample amount of protein because protein helps the larvae grow and helps feed the queen who needs the protein to lay eggs. I personally love crickets for ants and I've never had an ant colony that has rejected crickets. So I hope you guys enjoyed this feeding video. Please do subscribe, like, share, and leave me a comment. I try to answer your comments as much as I can. And stay tuned for our next video uploading next Monday because we upload once a week now. Thanks to you guys and all that ant love.
until next week, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on feeding crickets to ants. Please do subscribe to this channel, we upload every Monday. And don't forget to check out our ant tutorial playlist, which is great for beginners who want to get into the ant keeping hobby. We also have a Solenopsis Geminata playlist, which I personally love because it's a huge colony and you guys can get to learn what it's like to keep one of these big colonies. And finally, please do visit AntsCanada.com. We've got tons of information there. We have a forum for ant keepers. You can learn and journal about your ants. And if you need ants, be sure to visit our Queen Ants for Sale section, which is our GAN project, where we help people sell colonies that they no longer want, or extra colonies they can't keep themselves, or you can buy ants from people in your area. Thanks so much guys, bye bye! It's Ant Love Forever.